Right, what I'm going to do is replace the seal around the window. As you can see, it's letting in loads of... Um, it's just perished, the rubber. Whole lot. The actual one there, gasket there on that side of the window is okay. But what I normally do, I'm taking the screws out. Because what usually what you find this is all gunged up. And up above and then if I take the screws out I can take the whole window out and give it a good oil up on the hinges and give it a thorough clean and then get rid of the the old seal dig it out right yeah you've got another three Phillips screws here you've got one there one there and then one at the back there anyway the screws are out now, so at the top there as well. So I can just get out. There you go. Lift that out, and then gently lower that down. There you go. But look at all the guns here. See what I mean? It'd be easier for me to clean all this, give it a thorough clean, and put WD-40 all over these hinges. And replace the seal. Right, to remove the seal, usually they really badly perish. I've got an old knife, look, just go run it along. Like that. See? Right along, and you lift it out. There is some debris left in there, so you have to sort of fish that out afterwards once you turn it up. Look, can you see that? But that's all you need to do, go along with that blade all the way around, like so. Remove the old seal, see how badly perished it is. What I keep doing is just running the knife up and down, as you can see all the little bits of debris. Can't be avoided because they're just so perished, look, and just keep digging the pieces out. Right now I'm going to give it a clean, but you can see why I took the frame out I just find it easier to get all the um, the debris out of all these little grooves this is just fairy liquid in an old recycled um, spray canister thing so I'm spray that all the way around and then just got one of these a dish brush Give it a thorough clean. The hinges. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll get all the dirt and gunge off. So that seal's okay, but if you had to replace it, you do the same as on the main window. Bought this a while back. I've seen them available on um, Amazon or eBay. Uh, it's not the same as the original seal, but it's a better seal. Definitely see that. But that will do the job. So it's heavily coated in like a silicon. All you've got to do is start off in one corner and just push it in. As simple as that. What I sometimes do on the corners, if I get to a corner, I take a little nip out with a pair of scissors or a blade just so it fits around the corner better. So as you get round to the corners, if you see there, I've took a little nip out the corner with these like side cutters like that. See there, just helps it ease around the bend, sometimes like that. So I bought some screws to replace the rusty old ones. I mean, unfortunately they don't come as stainless, probably cheap windows, but they're all rusted up. So I'm going to stick these ones in there and that's the make.
Right, I've propped it back in there now, as you can see. Put the screws in there, in there as well. Push the hinges in. I'm holding it as well as screwing it, but if you get a second person to hold it, might be a good idea. Now, that all there is to do now is use some WD-40 or similar and just spray your hinges up. Good spray up there, all on the joins there like that and the top as well one last thing i've got that which i use you can use vaseline what you've got to do see this little triangular bit there just put a little bit in the corner there and on the bit of the top what it does it helps for the bit that's underneath to then engage better like that you'll find and up there as well a little bit in there I forgot the main um, lock to spray these bits up, give them a good spraying up.